What do you do when your friend shows up with hundreds of plums? You make spice plums. Today, we're gonna to be canning them up. I was super blessed by one of my dear friends yesterday, and she showed up with hundreds of these beautiful plums. So today, we're gonna to be canning them up and making spiced plums for the pantry. So, the only thing I'm gonna be using for this, this is really simple and easy canning project. So I'm gonna use some sugar, some cinnamon, allspice, a couple oranges, some water, obviously, and some plums. So first off, we're gonna start by getting all our plums nice and cleaned up. So you wanna wash them up real good. All right, so we're gonna get a simple spiced syrup together, which is really simple and easy to do. It's, I've got about five quarts of water in my pot, and I'm gonna add about a cup of orange juice. You can use fresh squeeze, you can use bottled orange juice. It all works. We're gonna put about a cup in there. And then we are going to use about a teaspoon of allspice. And you can mix this up and use clove or whatever you like in your plums. And then we're gonna add about a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon. I like these to have pretty good flavor. So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna add two cups of sugar to this. And this is just our simple syrup base with a little bit of spices in it. If you have a whole cinnamon sticks, you could put those in the jars and in here. And you can also do cloves, whole cloves with this. Um, any way you want to do it, really. So we're going to get this up on high and we're going to bring this to a boil while we're getting our plums ready. So while our syrup is heating up, we want to bring that up to a boil. So we've got a little bit of time here. I'm just going to start with my plums and I'm going to quarter these. I just put the knife around in a circle. I take the little piece where the stem was out and then in a quarter and that's it. It's really simple and easy to do. We're just going to pop these little pits out. Again, we're going to take that little stem piece out and then slice it into a quarter. Perfect. Toss those in a bowl and I'm just going to keep going until we get enough for seven quarts because that's what will fit in my canner. Alright, so once we've got this nice and heated up and it comes just to a simmer, you can bring it right to a boil, that's okay. I don't like to boil this too much because I'm going to put my fruit in now. I'm going to get these plums in and I use just a slotted little strainer type thing to get these in because this splash is really bad. So we're just going to get this fruit right in here and we want to just heat this back up because the fruit is going to cool it right down and we're going to bring it just to a boil and that way our fruit is heated through but not cooked too much. We don't want these to be too squishy because they're also going to be canned and that will cook them the rest of the way that we want them. So we're just going to keep adding our fruit until the pot is full. I'm doing a gigantic batch today because I literally have hundreds of these plums. So there were two 55 pound cases and that is a lot of plums, so we won't be backed up this winter, that's for sure. <laughs> you definitely want to be careful with these. These spice plums are so delicious and taste like a wonderful treat. And I love plums anyway, but this will clean you out. Oh my goodness, you got to be careful not to eat too many. Just a little at a time. They're yummy. This smells so good already. So I'm just gonna keep filling this up and I'm going to just bring this up to a boil and then turn it off. All right, 
right, so while we were getting everything together, I had my jars heating up in the hot water bath canner so they are nice and sterilized and hot. We want everything to be hot, hot, hot for this project. And we are just going to get these into the jars now. These are so yummy and delicious. I just love these. Ooh, those are hot. Pull this pot over a little bit so I don't make too much of a mess because I'm a messy girl. And I'm just using a scoop to put these in uh, without the juices, but I'm going to fill them with the juice. Just, I have way too much juice for this amount, but I'm doing a big project here, so that works. So we just wanna fill these about right to this glass rim, which is about one inch headspace, and I have too many in there. And you could shake these down a little. There we go. Probably get one more in there. Yeah. Maybe one more, one little one. Squeeze it in there. We get as many as we can. So we're going to just, you want to make sure it's filled to about one inch headspace. And we're going to fill the other jar. And I like to do two at a time and leave the rest of the jars in the canner. That way everything stays super hot and you don't have to worry about that. We're just going to shake that one down, make sure those are in there, and we'll put one more piece in there, see if we can squeeze it in there, get as many as we can. All right, so we've got our jars full, and now I'm just going to take a ladle, and we're going to fill these with the liquid that we made, and it, we're just going to fill them right up. These are so beautiful on the shelf. And absolutely delicious what a wonderful treat in the winter time oh my god I love these you can spoon a little in with your ice cream or they're great with oh anything in your oatmeal mm -mm -mm. yummy all right there is one Ooh, that's hot and then we are just going to take a paper towel and some white vinegar. And we're gonna wipe our rim. We wanna make sure we don't have anything on there. We wanna definitely get a good seal on these. And then we're going to take, I'm using a wooden skewer today because these are nice tall quart jars. So you just want to move everything around in there and make sure there are no air bubbles. And if your headspace drops too low, you can see it dropped a little bit. We can just add a little bit more juice to that. And re-wipe our rim because I should have debubbled first. But, you know, at least we got it. All right, then we're gonna add a lid. I have my lids in hot water. Ball used to recommend that. They don't anymore now that they've changed them. But that's okay. And I just do these finger tight, two fingers on each hand, and that is tight enough. If you over crank them down, you can make your lid buckle if the air can't escape. So that's it, but look how beautiful those are. Mm -mm. So we're gonna get this off to the canner. And we're going to finish this little baby real quick. I'm going to add one more little plum piece in there, or two. It's got a little bit of space. It's settling. Get our juice in there. Let's see if I can get this just so. Alright, there we have it, and we are going to debubble. Just want to make sure everything moves in there. Put 
press them down underneath. This little thing likes to go right through them. Sharp! And then we're going to wipe our rim. And put a nice clean hot lid on there. And a ring. That's it. This is not really a hard project at all. And there we go. Off to the canner and I am going to keep filling jars. Okay, so once I've got my jars all filled, I'm going to put them in a water bath canner with about an inch, inch and a half of water over the top of the jars. You want to make sure that they're completely covered and they're not going to boil out. So you want them all submerged in. Once this comes to a boil, we're going to let this process for about 20 minutes and then we will turn off the heat and let them sit for five minutes and then pull them out of the canner. And there you have it. About a hundred pounds of plums all canned up into spice plums. Mm. These are so delicious. We love these around the holidays. It's super easy. You can just pop them out of the pantry and warm them up or eat them cold. It doesn't matter. They're just so yummy. And you can use them for tons and tons of stuff. They're great in oatmeals and to add on the side or whatever. And I did have a couple of pint jars of the syrup left over, so I saved that. I'm sure I'll find something to make with that. I always like to save those liquids and because you never know. Sometimes you just need a little something to spice up a meal and that'll do it. But I ended up making four batches of the syrup and because there was just so many I didn't have any pans big enough to do this all in one shot. It took me about four and a half, five hours to do this. So I'm really happy to have it done and I'm excited to get these cleaned up and off to the pantry. And I'll eat that little jar right away. Yum! Yummy, yummy. That's it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!